Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Well, word has gotten out that the current setup of the House Democrats are trying to now get get rid of an, a little known rule that allows lawmakers on Capitol Hill to carry a weapon. Now, after the race riots of 1967, then President Lyndon Johnson signed a law that banned uh, firearms on any Capitol grounds. Now, he also empowered the Capitol Police Board to make exemptions of that law. Well, just days later, <laughs> they made an exemption saying, and I quote, uh, nothing shall prohibit any member of Congress from maintaining firearms within the confines of his office or any member of Congress or any employee or agent of any member of Congress from transporting within the Capitol grounds firearms unloaded and securely wrapped. So within their office, they could carry, but otherwise they had to have it you know, transport ready. Guns remain completely banned in the legislative chambers and the immediate offices and areas around them, just in case. Now for 51 years, nothing, there hasn't been any problems, right? No member of Congress has gone postal. However, uh, Representative Jared Huffman out of California, Democrat, uh, knowing that the influx of power is coming, it's just a couple weeks away, he doesn't feel comfortable with certain members of Congress or any members of Congress being able to exercise their Second Amendment right. So he has reached out to the Capitol Police Board questioning this and looking for a couple things to, uh, to identify who has guns in Congress and to um, have the incoming class sign a form saying, hey, you can't have guns here. And the concerning part is that Huffman now has the support of Nancy Pelosi on this and should she be, you know, the Speaker of the House again, uh, this is going to be thrust to the forefront, just like all the other gun control she's been squawking about for two weeks. Huffman said this, and I quote, I don't think we can just keep looking the other way or sweep this issue under the rug. Now, during this interview, he cited potential threats to public safety and national security from a lost or stolen weapon or an overheated lawmaker. And he even said this, quote, our political climate is too volatile and there are too many warning signs that we need to address things like this. So I guess you could look at it like if you're a constitutionalist, you could say that the leftists are so worried that they're overstepping their bounds that eventually the country's going to snap back, right? They're so worried about these guns that have, you know, haven't done anything in all the years they've been there. The people who are carrying haven't gone crazy, but you just keep forcing that globalism and Marxism and socialism. Maybe somebody might might snap, right? That's what that's what he thinks. Now, it's unclear how many members of Congress carry weapons, uh, that's the whole thing about concealed carry. You don't tell anybody. Uh, but uh, he is trying to get the Capitol Police Board to somehow identify these people. Numerous Republican lawmakers this week which are, uh, who were interviewed on this said, yeah, we've, we, we've heard people do it. We don't know who they are. Uh, you shouldn't, shouldn't dime anybody out. Don't knock anybody, right? Now, in the, legislati the legislative chambers, uh, there are firearms there just because... The uh, lawmakers are barred from them. Uh, each sergeant at arms, one for the House, one for the Senate, they carry as well. I don't think they've gone nuts in the last couple hundred years either. The telling part is if you look at this from the outside, okay, they're so hellbent on taking these guns away for the fear that someone might go cuckoo or that someone might break in and navigate to where these unknown weapons might be and somehow grab it and go nuts. Uh, they're not thinking that, you know, hey, if there's 25 members of Congress that, that are armed and something bad does happen, that's 25 good guys with a gun that are going to get there before the police arrive. When reached for comment, a Pelosi spokesman said that they would revisit this if she was, uh, in fact, elected as Speaker. Representative Thomas Massey uh, even chimed in. He's a representative out of Kentucky. Uh, he's well known for his views on the Constitution. He said this, and I quote, it's proposing to solve a problem that doesn't exist. She's worried that members aren't responsible enough to handle a firearm. Now, you've heard me mention the Capitol Police Board. Uh, they are the ones who can change this regulation. They're the ones who uh, oversee it, and it's a, made up of four people. And those four people are the Sergeant at Arms from the House, Sergeant at Arms from the Senate, the Architect of the Capitol, and the Chief of the Capitol Police. If you're interested in who those four people are, link is in the description. Check it out. Also, if you're interested in that 1967 law signed in by President Johnson, I'll have that in the description as well so you can check that out. Now, if you're thinking, hey, what about me? Well, members of us, the public, we don't get to carry on the Capitol no matter what, just the, the lawmakers while they're in on the, the campus grounds. But what was interesting, the D.C. Capitol Police 
actually arrest and charge people uh, more than you would think for attempting to enter a building uh, with while carrying a firearm. And they don't just turn you away and say, hey, this is the rule. They just charge you. They lock you up. Now, the more I looked into it, uh, this Huffman guy looks like a coward, a complete spineless, yellow belly coward, uh, because he also said that he's concerned that any loophole for lawmakers opens up the possibility that malicious figures could gain access to guns kept legally within the Capitol. <sighs> really? He then was reaching, saying, look at the politically motivated shooting that happened with Steve Scalise. That could happen here. Um, well, A, that wasn't in the Capitol building. B, nobody broke in and stole a member of Congress's gun. And C, a lot of people think that was just to stop the Hearing Protection Act vote for the next morning. So this Huffman clown has written to the sergeant at arms in the House numerous times. Um, last was October 25th that I could find. And uh, he wanted to reiterate his concerns and asked the uh, sergeant at arms, whose name is, or his last name is Irving, uh, to brief incoming members on the gun regulation and also to tighten it so that the Capitol Police can identify which members or staff are carrying or storing firearms. Um, kind of like a registry. He also went so far as to suggest that maybe in the next session, they randomly send two members of each body through a magnetometer, metal detector, to make sure that they're not carrying their gun in the chamber, you know, because that's not allowed. When I tell you that the stuff that I read is just drives you bonkers, man. It's not even, it's not even the end of December yet. They don't even take power into January, and they are just piling it on so thick. I'm actually very concerned of how difficult the next two years are going to be on the assault on the Second Amendment. Stay tuned here. This is where you're going to find it right here on Guns and Gadgets. Pass this along to your friends. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care, everybody. Let's see if the congressmen will stick up for themselves or if they'll just roll over.